okay so this is the final video for how to make a cartoon this is just like fi adding finishing touches and everything so right here I'm gonna use the polygon tool to cut out my background because I want to change it make it more cartoony so yeah just use polygon tool you can use magic wand tool whatever you like so just cut the background out You don't have to be too neat about this because this is going to be covered anyway. Uh, so after you cut out, you can look for anything else that's covering the background. So right now I'm just deleting some parts of the colorway. I went over places. So yeah, just delete those with a rubber tool. So again, you don't have to do this. These are only like extras that you can do to make it look better Okay, now it's all done. So I'm gonna. F I found a picture that I like for my background, and I'm gonna import it to Photoshop. And you need to place it at the bottom before the white background. And you can click Control T to resize the picture. You just drag the sides and corners however you like to transform the picture. And that's it, you got a background. I'm going to lower down opacity for the color so I could see the shadows and light sources from layer 0, I mean which is the original picture. As you can see as I pull the thing I can see more texture and then I can use dodge and burn to make those areas stand out a bit more you want the hardness on zero so there's no hard edge looks more realistic that way and then just start brushing just copy what you see on the image but you don't want to over burn too much because that way it looks bad doesn't look it's professional. So you don't have to do this. This is only from that airbrush look on your cartoon. And if you don't, you just leave it. Yeah, the lower the opacity, the more texture you see. Keep burning and dodging. Okay. 
okay now go to filter and then go blur and then Gaussian blur and then just put the slider bar just moving it you don't want it too smooth but you can smoothen that out so it doesn't look too realistic it's gonna make your picture look more cartoony and I think it's better but it's up to you yeah so the opacity there's no specific number for different images it's always a different opacity for this one I'm gonna go with 59 or something and again I might change it later so it's all up to you whatever you like so here I'm just carry on dodging now with the dodge tool which makes lighter areas yeah, so just carry on doing that I'm just experiment with different opacities so you want to try that and just look for the one you like and just stop there here yeah, I'm just filling in some because I drew extra hair and it had no texture on the original picture I'm just coloring in some so it won't be a see-through after you lower the opacity on the color but this is only because I made a mistake so you might not have to do that yeah anyway so here I'm just making another copy of the original picture and dragging it on top of the color and now I'm gonna lower the diff uh, opacity for that so now it's like an overlay and again I'm just gonna carry on dodging and burning till I see what I like find what I like or anything that's it that's the basics you just carry on doing that to you find out so you finished and you think you like it and whatever anyway I hope you like the tutorial because this was my first time I did it it's sort of hard I don't know speaking to the camera is kind of weird Well, anyway, I only did it because people asked for it. But hopefully, hopefully, I get used to it and I can do more. So yeah, whatever you like. If you like any more tutorials, just ask for one. On whatever you like, whatever you want it to be, say cutting or anything like that. Okay, so right here I'm just adding eyelashes because I forgot to outline them and that's sort of bad should have outlined those before because now they're gonna look kind of bad so anyway you must always try and rem like outline everything but anyway I'm just gonna try So yeah, 
because I've loaded the image now, and now it's too late to go back to it. Can't reference it, so I just have to sketch it out. So basically, you always want to try and outline the whole picture before you blur it or anything else you do to it, because you won't be able to see it anymore. But anyway. Now I'm gonna try and make to make the eye a bit better so it's not just a plain color. I'm gonna dodge and burn to make it look more realistic, I guess. Didn't like that, so I'm gonna start all over again. Then I'll dodge it for lighter areas. And then using the dodge tool, I'm gonna add these lines to make it look more like an eye than just a plain color. Again, just adding a few stripes. Don't make them stand out too much, you don't want to overdo it. Just so enough to give it that eye look. Then do it to the second eye as well. So here I'm going to make a new layer and put it under under the first, I mean, the original picture. I'm going to select white and then a large brush tool with smooth, I mean, with zero hardness. This is so I could give this glow effect, as you can see, when it gets near, you can see this sort of shine or glow. I think this makes the picture stand out but again this is only if you want to do it Okay, so right here I'm preparing to add text just to write her name or whatever of the person that you made the cards you know. The reason why I can't see is because it's um, below the other layers. So what you want to do is bring the layer up on top of all that and just put it in a corner or whatever you like it and that's it and now what we do is save it as a JPEG choose the place and then click save and then make sure it's a high quality unless you want it low like because you haven't got enough space on your computer or something but this is it hope you enjoyed the tutorial thank you for watching